Well, be careful what you post online. Police say a man was targeted by thieves after he was bragging about what he had on Facebook. Good evening. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm Stephanie Scurlock. Claudia and Richard are both off tonight. They say he was attacked by his ex-girlfriend and several others at the Austin Park Apartments in South Memphis. WREG's Melissa Moon has more on what happened to him. A man told police he came to this duplex in South Memphis to give his ex-girlfriend and the mother of his child some diapers, but was beaten so badly that it put him in the hospital, and it was all over money. The woman who lives here on Costner Cove wasn't home today because she's now staying at the Shelby County Jail. Charnay Dillard's neighbor didn't want to show her face, but says she was watching Dillard's six young children when police took her away Tuesday. I was shocked. Because I was helping her out and stuff, and she needed help, and I'm just still totally shocked. Police say Dillard and several others beat her ex-boyfriend, Kendall Harris, with a metal pipe, breaking several bones in his face. Dillard told her neighbor it was over a stolen phone, but Harris says Dillard wanted all this cash. She saw him flash on Facebook. Harris told police he was forced into a car and told to take them to the money, but was able to get away. Dillard's neighbor says she bragged about it on Facebook. All I know, she, she came over here and told me, and I told her that was wrong. Yesterday they came and got him. A few days after the beating, Harris was arrested for stealing someone's cell phone. This is his mugshot. You can see the bruises around his eyes. Dillard's neighbor says even if he's guilty of that, he didn't deserve what he got and says it all happened right in front of Dillard's kids. And they, they saw it. Dillard is being held on $80,000 bond. We're told her children are now with family members. In South Memphis, Melissa Moon, WREG, News Channel 3. Police say no one got any money from the victim. So far, Dillard is the only person who's been arrested. She's facing aggravated kidnapping and attempted robbery.